let's go for a ride! You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Hey guys, fucking around on my urban assault vehicle of choice, WR250 fucking R. Love this bike. And I tell you, the more I ride it, the more fun I have on it, and the more I like it. Woo! Oh, shit! <laughs> Caught some air there. Fuck, this is a good... Oh, shit! Woo! Almost wiped out there, man. And uh, it's a great little bike, man. But anyways, in this video, I want to talk about how to crash. I know I... It makes no sense like how to crash you want to avoid crashing but no there is you want to crash the right way if you are forced to crash like say somebody pulls out in front of you you know uh, what I see some cruiser guys do is they'll actually if a car does pull out in front of them and they have a quick reaction time uh, some of the guys will hit the rear brake real hard and then slide out the rear and low side. I don't know if you should do that or not, but some guys recommend that shit. Obviously, you want to brake in time, but I know like on cruisers, like some of the bikes that have weaker brakes, which I'll tell you guys, when I rode that that uh, Harley Davidson breakout, the brakes on that thing sucked ass, man, compared to the sport bikes. Uh, you know, in a case like that, where you can't really brake that fast like you can on a sport bike, uh, you may want to consider hitting the rear brake, slamming on the rear brake, sliding out, and uh, purposely low side. I, I don't recommend it. Like I, I don't have any experience with that to tell you if, if that helps. <laughs> and I hope I never do. But I want to hear from you guys. Like I said, you know, with my videos, it's all about creating community discussion so we can help learn from each other. I'm not the fucking expert here, guys. Never said I was. But I want us to all get better as riders. Let's help each other out through community discussion. Now, as far as uh, uh, also, you know, uh, another way, you know, if, if say you're getting ready to get T-boned by a car. What I recommended, well, I don't recommend, but I'm just saying that. It, which could possibly help is if you launch yourself off the bike like say you get up on these pegs you see it if you can react in time jump up off of your pegs to avoid getting your leg smashed because otherwise you probably end up missing a leg man either that or have a or your break your leg will be severely broken um, but that's the only way I can really see avoiding that. Now, obviously, you want to power out of the situation if you can. But if you get to a point where you, it's it's not gonna have you're not gonna be able to do that. If you have the quick reaction time, like cat-like reflexes, and you can fucking get on your pegs like this right here, and fucking jump up to avoid that car nailing your ass from the side, by all means. I would definitely try it if I were you. Um, you know, also, uh, what other type of crashes? Uh, you know, say if you uh, you get nailed from behind, you see a car is flying, you look in your rearview mirror, the car is not stopping, or especially in the rain. That's why I tell you guys that you really should avoid riding in the rain. Not because of your skills and all, but or but because cars could have bald tires and be texting on their phone and hit a last minute stop and slide right into your ass. Yeah, I've seen it's happened to me in my car twice. I've got slammed from the back by somebody in rain. Uh, with somebody just, they didn't stop in time. I don't know, maybe they're fucking uh, probably on the phone or texting or some shit. Slammed the brakes last minute, slid right into the back. And if you're on a motorcycle here, you know, a way to uh, prevent having a real fucked up day, possibly if you, like I said, you have to have cat-like reflexes. And I've seen it done on YouTube, so it can be done. To uh, jump off of your bike in time, try to. That's why you always want to stay peeled, 
to your mirrors and pay attention to what's going on behind you man and uh, if there's no car behind you you stay peeled to those mirrors uh, and that way uh, maybe you can react in time and get the fuck off your bike you know or if, if you're able to, to accelerate you know that's what's cool about these dual sports that if something like that happened even even though this thing is is really doesn't have the power to do it I don't know uh, it should but if you can pop the the uh, pop the curb and uh, I don't know you may be able to do it on a street bike but on this they could take curves like nothing but on a street bike you could you may get knocked off your bike if you try to if you crank the throttle real hard and hit that hit that curve you're probably gonna be ejected from your bike or maybe not I don't know I've never tried it on a, uh, a sport bike and don't want to but on this I take curves like it ain't nothing um, that's how I tell you these these little I'm telling you man these dual sports are awesome and they give you more visibility too because you're higher up so the car the driver see you a lot better than when you're on a cruiser that sits a lot lower in a, a sport bike but uh I don't know. Give me your feedback, guys. I want to hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear from you uh, guys who have been riding for a long time, have experienced different types of crashes or something, whatnot. And maybe if you can help uh, give some advice as to how to crash if, you know, if you're put in a situation where you're absolutely going to be in a crash. And uh, what's the best technique to avoid, you know, more bodily harm to you, to avoid bodily harm. And uh, I'd love to hear that feedback from you experienced riders or you new riders maybe that have experienced that maybe have come up with a technique to help keep you from having a real fucked up day. But I, uh, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Just creating some community discussion so we can become better riders out here on the streets. And uh, but hey guys, I have a, if you want to go to my website and check out uh, my playlist, I have a safety videos playlist with all the videos that I've done on safety. Uh, I'll include a link to that playlist in the description and comment section of this video, but you can go to my website and access it along with my other playlists that I have on there as well. Hey, subscribe to my All In One Motorcycle channel. Hit like if you like this video. And uh, hey, I appreciate all you guys. Take care, and I wish you guys the best and uh, the best of luck out here on the streets. Take care, and until next time, deuces. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.